For years, people have been searching for the best way to play Terraria. From PC, to console, to mobile, not one version has even come close to being as perfect as the version I am covering today. Introducing Terraria Stamped. Now, if you're a Scratch veteran, like myself, you might notice the name Griff Patch as being one of the most well-known Scratch game designers on the entire platform. Like, he's made a lot of pretty high production versions of games for Scratch, some of them even being 3D, like Paper Minecraft. And Terraria Stamped is no different. Like, if we load into the game here, it is arguably the closest that you can get to a browser version of Terraria. Like, of course, there are little differences and limitations obviously of it running on scratch but there is a lot here that you can find in the full game now one amazing feature of this version is just the world generation like it actually looks like a terraria world now of course you might as i run around here you might notice that it's not very smooth when transitioning between parts of the world but you know it's kind of a pretty huge limitation of scratch And like, this is just one of the things that had to happen to get it to run on this platform. But it is still, like, a very playable version of the game. Alright, so I believe we've reached the end of the world on this side. So, let's see what's over here. And would you look at this? We found a chest. How do I open it? There we go. E! Ooh! A wooden boomerang. I will gladly take that. Thank you. I keep on pressing escape to close out of the inventory menu and stuff. Oh, crafting is a little bit jank, but then again, this version of Terraria is a little bit jank. Oh, the lighting, it's crispy, I think, is a good way to describe it. But again, you can't really hate on it. Like, it's Terraria running in scratch. Like, it's absolutely fantastic. And this boomerang, very nice weapon. Let's see if there are any powerful mobs that we can take on here. Oh, I see a cave bat. Hey, bo, buddy, buddy, buddy. I'm gonna die if I don't be careful. One more shot. There we go. Too easy, honestly. Ah! Stop it, slime. I'm in a bit of a predicament here. Ugh. There we go. And if I climb out, climb out. Nope. <laughs> climb out. There we go. We can continue deeper. Oh, let's go! It's a clock. There's no chest. Okay. <laughs> That's... That's a little bit unfortunate, but this is insane world generation, by the way. I'm pretty sure this, like, these are generated when you start up the game. I don't think these are pre-made maps. This is insane, and that, that's a little nice shack. Oh, a life crystal and gems. Honestly, we've already done more stuff just in the first couple of minutes of this video than I thought we would have been able to do over the entire time playing. Hey, and a bottomless water bucket. Is it literally just, just an infinite water bucket? Oh well, I love water physics. They're very fun. <gasps> it shot a boomerang! Oh, let's go. I'm leaving that other one here. It's a gross boomerang that's old and is worse than the one I have now. Let's go. <laughs> Jesus, 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 I'm dying. Oh, I'm falling. I'm going deep. Oh, thank God I can place torches underwater. But I, I need to make a little, a little breathing hole real quick. Don't mind me if I believe in myself. Oh my god. Oh, I'm alive somehow. Oh, but I'm just gonna be constantly getting attacked down here. Alright, calm down. Ooh, evening time. Thank you for telling me, Terraria. Hey, Zombo, what's up? You wanna get destroyed? Seemed like he did. Anyways, I think it might be housemaking time. So I'm gonna go find my guide and hope that he's not dead. Guide, guide, where are you, buddy? Oh, you're here, thank god. Hello. Hey, the guide's moved in. Ah, uh, you'd love to see it. How, did I accidentally fill this area up with water? Because I have a feeling that I did when I was messing around with my infinite water bucket earlier. Oh, anyways, look at this. It's a new hole with a pot. Yay! Yay! Exclamation mark. Party time! Because it's daytime. I have no idea how that really d makes a difference to anything. But, you know. Oh, I got a hook. Damn. If only I had more iron to do stuff with it. <sighs> I, I want iron. How hard is it to get iron in this freaking video game? But all I can find is freaking tungsten. Like, I know it's fantastic and all. But I can't, I, I can't do anything with it until I have iron. And you know what I don't have? Iron. 
like bro it's so sad oh here we go new cave new me some iron maybe i just did a little rhyme there terraria or scratch terraria how do you like that one apparently not a lot more tungsten wow it's exactly it's, how do you know <gasps> i just jerked myself iron! whoa let's go boom just pop that down there let's go yo grappling hook grappling hook yeah Woo, heck yeah, woo, yeah, heck yeah, woo, heck yeah, woo. Well, anyways, this was a very fun experience. It's a genuinely alright version of Terraria. There is more content that I can explore. So, if this video gets like, I don't know, 20 likes, I'll do a part two. But yeah, if you did enjoy, smash the like and subscribe. This is the end of the video, and I'll be seeing ya. Uh, goodbye.